are you feeling? And, and Oliver, because I'm assuming you've talked with him about this, about being on this list. I mean, because, okay, this is the difference. The people that died, that were killed before were in Ukraine, except Daria was in Moscow. Yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, I, I mean, are you feeling worried or concerned about your security? And I'm just kind of wanting to ask you about how- Sarah, I feel, yeah. I, I respect it as a badge of honor. I'm okay. in a very good okay. company here. Okay. I have a very good names whom I love and whom I admire a lot, like Roger okay. Waters or Oliver Stone or great Russian directors, actors and singers. They put okay. all us all together. So it's okay. like, you know, if you're not on that website, you're probably doing something wrong because Ukrainians do not do not put you on a on a kill list. Mm -hmm. uh, we also we also know who who is helping them. So that the famous Elliot Higgins bearing cat, who is a yes. frontman for MI6, who is a openly <laughs> openly NATO affiliated uh, uh, the Atlantic Council organization. He was on a payroll for this organization. And he was a very big, you know, how to say, specialist, the uh, expert on harassing people to the open sources he's like he was just he, yeah he was just harassing me last week that's interesting um yeah. on twitter he engaged me as well. character he yeah engaged me as well but you know uh he was busted a lot of time a mm -hmm. lot of time my dear friend uh anatoly shari the f prominent uh, ukrainian blogger in exile he lived mm -hmm. in spain he was busted a lot of uh, operation of uh, elliot higgins and you know what most interesting thing what you need to understand about elliot higgins that amount of signet what they process or that amount of open source information, intelligence from open sources, what mm -hmm. they process, that's required the hundreds of thousands of years of processing. So they not do it that themselves. They're the frontmen. Frontmen. Mm -hmm. And they was exposed as the frontmen for the integrity initiative. Integrity initiative, this is a NATO uh, formation what's operate mm -hmm. to counter uh, to counter offense and the russian and they call russian propaganda and offense and defend uh but they defend defense usually look like an attack so instead of the counter propaganda they just doing just very brutal propaganda work and they work in as an affrontment for the agencies what cannot dis disclose they possession of this information, like an MI6, CIA, NSA, or others. So- Well, I, I wanna bring us back for a second to, to something mm -hmm. that, that's really concerning. You know, when Ava was on my show, she, she discussed, you know, she has a Canadian passport. She also has an American one, yeah. but she appealed to her Canadian government. She said they were sort of okay. But they, they weren't really helpful um, for her. She, you know what I mean? As far as like mm -hmm. safety issues, like um, Trudeau's not calling it out, right? Justin Trudeau. She even, I think, put up a tweet. Um, and you know what, Reef, if you want, you can go ahead and post Ava's tweet. She kind of gave the, the history that you did, Igor. Yep. Um, she mirrored that and, and to give people the information. But I guess I want you to, I, I want to know, um, because I noticed that when Daria Dugana was assassinated, just three days later, the Biden administration gave $3 billion more in aid to Ukraine. And there was not a word in mainstream media about this being a terrorist act. In fact, oh, it they was even a... kind of try to cast doubt on the investigation yes. because FSB found who did it and exposed that it was a Ukrainian SBU. And yeah. instead of like reporting that, um, you know, you saw CNN and some of them dance around it and make it seem like, oh, this is unverified. Yeah, first of all, this operation was very dirty, executed very dirty with a lot of tales. They mm -hmm. cached that records of Natalia Vox, uh, Shaban, who right. was a Ukrainian, Ukrainian military serviceman before. Uh, her son is Ukrainian military. And she was uh, uh, traveling a lot. She know a few languages. And now the latest from uh, Russian law enforcement, they published the name. It's very funny how CNN and New York Times try to whitewash Ukrainian mm -hmm. dirt because Ukrainians, Ukrainians decide to distance themselves from the, from the Dugina assassination because it's a very bad publicity. This is an act of terror. 
-hmm. and if government commit and support act of terror this is like you know uh that the uh, government of terrorists so we we have no doubt in this but west collective west still thinking as Zelensky about like that kind of secret mm -hmm. people know so there is a dugina assassination but you know the problem here they start blaming the uh fsb to killing her <laughs> as usually they do they, they do it before uh yeah. when they when they uh, uh uh, famous the the, the ex KGB officer uh, Litvinenko who said Putin is blowing the houses in Moscow to organize the the, uh, the second phase of Chechen war. And he provided no fucking evidence about this. No, yeah. The biggest biggest evidence was what the FSB conducting the the drill with a the, the, with a wheat in a in a big uh, packages in the in the basements of houses and it was only evidence of fsb blowing the uh houses in moscow so they they do exactly said that elliot higgins already on top of that they started said she was thrown out of the car she was not blown it's all bullshit you know this is this is how they're trying to help mr zelensky do not be in such a dirt but you know if the real crime happened, so now they find out who was helper of uh, Natalia Walk, and they just publish the video of they mm -hmm. together, and they said yeah. what he was doing. He was helping to arrange the bomb, and they using the garage, garage of the Natalia Walk in Moscow to to prepare that bomb, uh, mm -hmm. who was placed under the under the car to blow Dugina uh, car and kill her. So practically, this is very clever. But you know, you cut the Rush RT or Russian information sources out of West. Not such a lot of people uh, reading in the Russian language. Not such a lot of people using Telegram as a source right. of information. But more and more, and the Russian journalists start making the uh, they post in English. And also, you know, it's a lot of uh, translation service, automated translation service. What you can read the Russian website, and you can get to information very clever so you yeah, and, just... you, and you can see rt on rumble i mean and and, and yeah, you can Rock see rt on rumble yeah, and yeah. and it's... gab as well you can watch it mm -hmm. so that uh things about the peacekeeper are important to understand they will try to export this technology here they mm -hmm. will try to to establish some kind of kill list of the internal like a domestic terrorists that's how they call everyone who disagree with the policy of joe biden uh, mm -hmm. or and the, and as soon as we as closer we can come to the uh, midterms in november we can see more and more development in this but i believe that we need to break that news so that peacekeeper website was supported and founded by same man who established and brutal nazi formation as everybody in the world as, knows as other, battalion, as our battalion. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's giving the people the right sense because that's the same technique same methods same brutal and ruthless tactic of intimidation what nazi use in a in a and fascists use in a nazi germany and that now they're using this in ukraine and they you, will you try know what, you know what george galloway said about that igor George mm -hmm. Galloway just today said even the mafia didn't kill each other's children, you know. Yeah, it's, George Galloway uh, was comparing the brutality of the Ukrainian how you know how they're operating. It's just it's but it's ugly. you know mafia did not but Nazi did they Nazis they killed did. the children. Yeah, yeah so that so you you we need, we need to understand this is like a dangerous situation. If mm -hmm. we will not expose them, if we will not talk about them if we will not show how they operate and what the cause, they will use more and more and more and more people here in the West will be endangered by, say, technique and intimidation. And you know what? It's much, much way tougher Russian people who don't give a shit about this. You know, right. that, that the Azov Battalion just published some brutal uh, uh, publication about what they, like, you know, put Margarita Simonian, the uh, chief editor on a, on a in a court hearing and uh and they explain in a very graphic details how they want to kill her and where so this wow. is 
this is a tactic of intimidation. Don't be scared, mm -hmm. Tara, because they used that before. They use it that now because they Nazi. We need to call them by the name, by their names. We need to point the finger and say, "This is Nazi, and your tactic not gonna work with me because right. I have a lot of friends, and we're gonna expose you. We will bring you to justice, and we will talk to real people to understand. You right. cannot support the Nazi. You cannot because if you're gonna support them." They're going to win and they're going to use that techniques of intimidation and threats against you.